day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, we had a good uh, Thursday night Bible study, and I pray that you uh, will enjoy it. This is going to be part A of the Bible study. And we talked about, it's interesting, we, we were going to pick up what we've been doing for the uh, last, uh, from Sunday, uh, when we talk about uh, murmuring and such as were some of you against him, meaning do we do our, when we murmur and complain, I will mess up our blessing because we're complaining against God. And in the children of Israel, the example of what happens when you, you're complaining against God, and the Bible says, in all things, give thanks, amen? Uh, but the uh, Brother Aslan showed up uh, for the Thursday Bible study, and uh, he went into the uh, scripture uh, that was called in Romans uh, chapter four, starting uh, verse 20. Uh, Missy, I don't know if I can bring that up. If I can, let me try that. If not, now I'll, I'll read it to you. Uh, but it was, it was. Well, let me share it with you. Probably better to share it with you, so that you can get a chance to see it for yourself. So I'm gonna share it. The uh, Romans uh, four, chapter verse twenty. It says. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that he had what he had promised, he was able to perform it. Uh, what what we what we like about that is that uh, it, it begged the question: How do we become fully persuaded uh, and being strong in faith? And 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 what you find out of the study as we went through, what there's some different scriptures that, that how do you get to that point where you're fully persuaded? And one of the things that uh, uh, I told them that, that we might want to consider, because the Bible says that the Old Testament and the scriptures themselves are examples for us, is the, the, the phase where Abraham, uh, how did Abraham become fully persuaded? I told him that uh, in, in Genesis, uh, starting in chapter 12, and then actually Genesis uh, 15 is where God cut a covenant with Abraham. And, and we said that just like in the modern day time, uh, when you, those of us who bought a house, <laughs> I guess those who bought a car, uh, there's, a, there's an agreement, there's a contract that's written. And in, in that contract, uh, both parties come together in agreement and, 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 and that creates the title deed. For a house, it creates the, 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 the title for the home. If it's a car, it's, it's, the, it's the lease. I mean, the car that you get, uh, you only have a title for a car. And when, therefore, when you have that document that says that you, you have a contract, you'll find out in a lot of cases that no one can tell you that's not your car. No one can tell you that's not your home. Matter of fact, if you have a contract with your, in, in marriage, it's, and once you have a marriage license, once you go through the marriage ceremony, anybody can tell you that's not your wife, that's not your your husband. It's 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 you because you went through something that made it verified and solidified that there's a contract between you that for that whole contract for you that car contract within that marriage. Well, Abraham in, in Genesis 15. Uh, who inside of going to the covenant, uh, God cut a covenant with Abraham. And that covenant solidified to Abraham that his God, our God, the God, Almighty God, is fully able to perform what he promised. And for our faith walk, we need to understand this too. You have a covenant with God, no matter what it is that you're fully persuaded because you know he's able. So you almost have to say he's able. I know he's able. 
And then we went into the one where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was the same scenario in the situation where the, the, the king said that if you bow down, you know, everything's cool. And they said, we're not, we're not going to be careful in answering this. Our God is able to deliver us from this fire. And if he don't, we're still not going to worship you. We're going to worship him. And that's what God is saying and saying in our life. We do our walk. We need to understand God is able to perform that which he promised. God is able to deliver us. God is able to heal us. God is able to promote us. God is able. And our job is to be persuaded in the fact of who he is because he's demonstrated he's able by the creation of heaven and earth. Well, and you can have some people sit there and say, oh, it's a random and all that. That's, 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 their, that's their issue. Let them deal with it. I'm just sitting there saying this. All this stuff is not an accident. And every day that you wake up, every breath that you take, he's able to keep you breathing. He's able to keep you and everybody else that's talking. And I guess some of you got to watch out one day and you try to sit there and give him tempted enough, he'll show you he's able to keep you going, to keep you breathing, keep you living. Amen? But the point of the fact is that once you have a covenant with God and you have a covenant with God through the relief and receiving of Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you are, you, therefore we need to be transformed. And that's what I was thought of in Romans 12 too, is be not conformed to the world, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Your mind has to be transformed. And to the point I'm saying, just like Abraham, being fully persuaded that he's able to perform that with your promise. And that's what we talked about uh, for the third Bible study. And I think you're going to enjoy it. We did. We had some fun with it. And I, 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 I'm encouraged to invite you to go take a look at it and check it out. All right? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll continue to put the word out. And look, let me make sure you understand this. <laughs> as far as the, the Bible studies are concerned, we're just, I'm trying to keep it at, the, at a practical level. For you and for me. I'm, I'm not trying to be some school teacher, uh, but a word teacher, a word discusser, a word participant in the Bible and study of God's word. And, and that's what I'm more excited about, is just us learning the word of God. So I'm inviting you to our Bible studies and, and, uh, and, and I encourage you to join us when you can. But it's all about just getting to the word of God and then trying to apply it in our everyday life. That's the goal. That's the intent. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep safe. You know, right now, this is day the 28th uh, uh, of May, and we have now passed the threshold of 100,000 deaths. And we've seen this, this weekend, and I think you will do it. And we even look back this next year. The fact is, the weekend that we just talked about coming up, Memorial Day weekend, many people have been tempting uh, faith or tempting death when they go out there and not putting on a mask and coming closely packed together. It's, and we already starting to get reports, too, of people who have been affected. Well, I just say pray. We'll keep you in prayer. And uh, we do pray for those people who have lost their lives. Uh, 100,000 people. And it ain't over. But let's keep praying to get this and get this under control. All right. Well, anyway, stay safe. Stay in a secret place. Trust God. Don't tempt God to go out there and try to do things. Said, I'm covered by the blood, so I ain't going to wear no mask. No, I'm going to do that. Just believe in God, trust in God, pray that we get over this, okay? All right, stay blessed. I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Well, I've been, I've been, uh, been meditating on this one scripture this week. Uh-oh. -uh. I want to uh, hear that one, Dad. Man, it's, it's, it's got me. It's got me going. It uh, really does. I may have to uh, pull the e but Let me get my e-sword up for just so we can see it. Okay, it's uh, Romans 4.20. 420, okay. I thought, you know, I was sitting there thinking it's going to be, uh, you know, the one I've been I, I stuck on a little bit this uh, this week 
you know, as we read about the giant, you know, when we talked about the giants in the land. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and I was really referring to that renewing of the mind, you know, of what the mindset is, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and and I was I, I know that now that's very critical. Yeah, that's basically what this this scripture boils down to. Yeah. You know, yeah. um it's just it it just stood out for me, you know, and, and it was it just grabbed me. And I've been, you know, meditating on it. I've been flopping it around, you know, the sentences and 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 just really trying to just chew on this thing. And it's it has really been blessing me and it's it's focusing me on on not just uh the faith. Yeah. You know, and and and, and well the, the, well, you you're bringing it up, yeah. So it says, uh, "Stagger not at the promises of God right. through unbelief." Come on now, uh huh? Yeah. But with strong faith, giving yes. glory to God. Yes, sir. And being fully persuaded. Come on now. That what God had promised, He is able to perform. Man, this is just stirring something up in me. Well, Abel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's stirring because I, I applied this to me. Okay. You, you know that, I'm, that I am not being weak in faith by, uh, uh, you know, through unbelief. But right. I'm, that, that scripture... Uh, that man said, I believe, but God help my unbelief. Unbelief, right, right. You know, and, and this this pulled that together for me. Yeah, you fully know? persuaded. In other words, he, he had, the other man was saying is, I have belief. Yeah. I just don't, I don't have, a, I, I'm not at the, the fuller level. Yes. To receive the, or make it be, what, effective. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's not a fact. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, I believe, but it's not so factual that it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so that 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 that's a key for me. Okay. Okay. And um, I started to send this to 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 Brother Johnson because he's always, you know, his one of his main things is to do greater works. Right. And to me, this is the key. Yeah. Yeah. That to be fully persuaded that what God had promised. Uh-huh. He's able to perform. Okay. So so it's it's and it also says, but you have to be strong in faith. Okay. So be strong in God's word. Yes. And sir. being strong in his word is how we give glory to God. Come on. Now talk to us. So we got, we, we're gonna record this, so let's see if we can. No, we ain't. We ain't yeah. gonna record. We you don't need to record this. No, I want, I want to, cause you know what? That is a uh, a conversation that we have had uh, studied before, uh, and it what tips into that because so for somebody listening to what we're saying right now is the the the. How do I get to that point? Because you're saying it. Yeah. I want to get to that point. Yes. And 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 I think it begs the question how to get to that point. Uh basically, it's it's the renewing of the mind. But like I said, that 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 is the key to this. Oh yeah. It's, and, it's, and, and and that's yeah. the only way. Uh huh. You can be strong in faith. Come on. Because I mean, it's just repeated by me over and over again that you know you go to those those key scriptures. What right. faith is, faith and is. how do you get faith? Yeah. So basically, you know, bottom line is, it's God's word. Right. Right. That that's the, the bottom line. But you know, when you boil it all down, it's, it's God's word. It's God's word. And, and it's, it's, 
it's being fully persuaded. Come on now, that's the key word. That's the key. I'm, I'm God's gonna... word. That's right. faith. Right. That, that is faith. Because you, you have to, the fully persuaded is God's word overrides every situation, circumstance. It, it overrides uh, reality in this physical realm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 uh, it cuts through time, space. You know, it's, it is, it's Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. And, then, and that's us all it is. So, in, in, uh, the word is, 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 is in my spirit. I'm hearing, let this mind be in you. Yes, sir. It was in Christ. See, that was in, exactly. that was in Christ Jesus. And so, right. it's, it's just, and, and he is the word. Yes, sir. Now, living, he, he's just living word. He now, is that. Now, and, and that's the key I want to throw in there. Because I think that's really a critical key because it's comparative with Abraham. Yes. Right? Abraham was fully persuaded. Yes. He staggered not at the promises. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you, Christ. Right? I mean, Christ was, you know, Christ was fully persuaded yes. because he demonstrated it yes. by going to the cross. Yes. He, he, even, uh, he even had to go three times to talk about it. Yes. To, to show that I'm fully persuaded. Yes. To let thy will be done. Right? Yeah. I mean, even when his flesh, because he had to deal with it. Yeah. That flesh was saying, with, hey, with, with, and, and I don't, and, and, I don't think he deal he dealt with his flesh like we dealt with it, but there's still he still was human, right? And he was alive, and he still had the the automated self preservation about himself. You know what I'm saying? I do. And, and, but you know what I think I want to throw in there though is the fact is that uh, he was fully persuaded, mm -hmm. and I wanted to to I think it's critical that that's why we they want us to have a mind of Christ, and and one of the pieces of being like we like we talk about the Romans twelve again be not conformed to this world but be transformed yes, transformed to what to the mind of Christ right yes. Uh, yes. Uh, for the, by the renewing of your mind, and and even Abraham uh, had to to go to a transformation. Yeah, is what I want to say. That, uh, that's good. That's a good correlation too, because I mean that's what the Bible says. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He had to go. Uh, he he grew strong in faith. Mm -hmm. uh, he you know I mean if you go back to the the uh, the beginning of when Abraham came in, you know, he heard from God. You know, he came from a pagan nation, you mm -hmm. know, and and it took faith to 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 do what was asking him. What what Genesis fifteen, mm -hmm. you know, and the word said it. Let me see, it's twelve, I think. Genesis twelve. Let me see if I can get it, because he. A call of Abraham. I share what I'm showing. It, it, it said the, the call of Abraham, right? Now the mm -hmm. Lord came to Abraham, get thee out of that country. Now, when we break that down, to me, it, it's telling you, I need you to, to get out of your comfort zone get out of the environment that, that, that has nurtured you and, and shaped you and conformed you to who you are today. Yeah. You know? Because uh, he wasn't a young man at this, time, this point in life. This brother was like 75 years old. And, and, he, and to me, he had to have had a relationship with God. Well, you know, you know he came from a pagan nation too, right? And, mm -hmm. and you know, I heard T.D. Jake this morning and I, I wanted to throw at you. He had 
refer a couple of times that I brought you out of Mesopotamia. I, I want you to know he was talking to Abraham, but he's also talking to the Jewish people, and he was also talking to you and me, because mm -hmm. he said, you, Abraham, was a Gentile. Yeah, I just want to make sure everybody understood. I yeah. pulled a Gentile out, and I made a covenant with him. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then I want to throw at you is the fact is that and this is in Genesis 15, when we, we, I don't know if you recall when we talked about the covenant. You remember us going over the covenant? If you may not, it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite subjects of teaching. I'm just telling you right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but what it is, though, a covenant, I, I, first, to make sure you understand, a covenant is a contract yes. between two or more people. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and it's a binding contract. Yes. And, and and back in those days, they were talking about doing a a blood, blood covenant. Blood covenant, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and that in itself is where I want to throw at you is when the staggering knot became a reality. Mm -hmm. Because now this, 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 this divine being, this creator of heaven and earth is, is taking it to the level that I can relate to. Yes. Because he didn't have to. Mm -hmm. But he, he came down to my level because his word was good enough. Yeah. But for me, Abraham, I, I'm going to come and get relate to you the way this way of doing contracts. I am doing a personal contract with you. Mm -hmm. Huh? And, 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 and so I need you to go get some stuff. Just go, just like you, if you, you when you bought that house, you, you, had, a, you had a lawyer, right? Yeah. You, and and, and if, you, if it was, if it was home, owned by somebody else, the people who used to own it was there. Mm -hmm. You know, I never all kind of wonder about how people can steal your house through identity because yeah. it's like bank court i don't care judge i don't care what you say i wasn't there yeah but he no, judge i was not there yeah all right? i didn't sign anything i don't know none of these folks <laughs> i don't know none of these folks and the person as a lawyer has a responsibility if there was a lawyer it should have been a lawyer there should have been two mm -hmm. probably this representing both parties, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's one representing this party, one representing that party. The person y'all need to talk to, to include the bank, you need to go talk to uh, that lawyer <laughs> and that person. And, and lawyer, bank, you made a, I, I don't know, I don't care if you had a new client, new or what, agent, contractor, whatever, if they didn't talk to me, it, it matters not. Yeah. I don't even know how, matter of fact, I don't know how it happens in places, some, you know, so many things. Some of them is identity saying I'm the custodian of somebody, I guess. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because it, don't, it doesn't add up and say somebody can tell you to take your house. Next thing yeah. they say, I'm coming here. You coming here where? I'm coming in. I bought this house. You bought what house? Yeah. <laughs> you bought Especially house. It, while I'm still alive. <laughs> how, how you do that? How you do that? <laughs> you ain't stupid. But, the point is, though, it, may, it solidified the fact is that the house that you're in today, right now, there is, you stagger not in the ownership of this house mm -hmm. that you're in. There is this, you see what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, how dare anybody even think about saying this is their house? Does that make sense? Because yeah. all the paperwork, all the signatures, all the stuff has been signed to legitimize the ownership. That covenant that was cut in Genesis 15 solidified to Abraham, oh, he got to do what he, he oh, this, this is a blood covenant now. I know, I know what he's talking about right now. Yeah. 
I can relate to what he's saying. This covenant, as a matter of fact, let you know something. That, that, that covenant in old days merges two names together. In other words, you don't, be, you don't walk out of that covenant with Addison. You know? And, and, and I think even our marriages is symbolic of that is the wife, your wife, came out of that ceremony mm -hmm. with a new name. Yeah. Whoa. How you tracking? Yeah, transform. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, it was figuratively and legally yeah. a transformation of two people becoming one. Yeah. She, she, there's no staggering about the fact that, that that's her husband. Mm -hmm. no, no, no staggering about it. That you can't convince, just, it's almost like this. Who can convince you that that ain't your wife? She can. <laughs> <laughs> she can what? She can. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Only thing she really can do is to reject you. Yeah. In yeah. the, what do you call it? Call a null or dissolve. Yeah, an annulment. The, the, there's no, <coughs> <laughs> there is no, put his way, devil coming into the garden. No. Devil coming to your house and tell you or your wife, surely that's not your wife. It, do, you, do you understand what's coming out of my mouth is that yeah. I, you can't even, you can't even, you can't even, you, 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 there's nothing you can say <laughs> that can contradict that. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Staggering. I'm getting to, I'm trying, you see what I'm doing? I'm using parables yeah. here yeah. of where the staggering comes in at. A staggering knot, because there's something that solidifies the relationship. Christ is saying is that the solidification of our relationship is if you confess Romans ten out of ten is what I like more than anything else. But there's others, mm -hmm. of course. But that's a, that's to me that was my when I actually do some ministry of salvation, right? And even using a part of this teaching, this, this one, is the fact is a title deed that if someone sit there and question your salvation, are you saved? Mm -hmm. All you have to really do just, is one of the scriptures, you can use others, but this is, I like this one better than anything else. It, you, all you say well, is written that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus yeah. and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou should be saved. Uh, I just answered your question because I'm going to tell you, I, I have confessed with my mouth the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. I yeah. believe it so much that I know it changed me. Yeah. Now, I may not be what you want me to be, but then again, I'm not seeking your approval anyway. But Amen. I'm telling you that I made a covenant in becoming yeah. part of the body of Christ. And I don't care if you say you're from the denomination, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you say it. it ain't how we do it at our church. You see, that's the whole problem. You just made a mistake right there. You just say how you do it at your church. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you how it is written. Yeah. Is that not a staggering or not? Yeah. That's, a, that's not staggering at all. Woo! Because see, I, I know that there was a gift presented to me. Yes, sir. And I know without a doubt Come on now. That I accepted it. Come on. Come on. Come on. And and, the form of me accepting this gift. Yes, sir. Was given to me. <laughs> was me believing. Yes, sir. And confessing. Yes, sir. And it was by the grace of God. Yes, sir. So. Hey, and I want to go back to your scripture right quick. That's your wife. I don't want anything. I eat yours if I do. <laughs> that was my son. You gonna say? Oh, your me? son. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, the only reason I was saying that, I was just checking, but uh, I, I, just in case, uh, look like the the, the brethren are not making it today for some reason. But so that mm -hmm. way we keep on going our conversation. And yeah. Then we can wrap it up in a nice proper way. But I still, I, cause I think we, you know, took me down the trail. 
I'm ready to go. I want to get going. We this on this road. Huh? Come on, brother. Come on. Now let's go back to this. I want to throw something at you. Did I read okay. in that scripture that you read? Uh huh. Verse twenty again. Uh huh. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. I like those some subjects by itself. Yeah. And being fully persuaded what he promised. Here's a piece I keyed in on this. You ready? He was, he was able, able also to if perform. If he promised it. But come on now. If he promises, come on, and we know that all the promises of God, yes, sir, yes, and amen, and amen, come on. So, and, and what and so, if he promises, we know that he is also, yes, sir, able to perform it, yes, sir. So he, he just doesn't speak for nothing, nothing. When he speaks, universes happen, come on, come on now, <laughs> life happens. Yes, sir. Yes, he sir. Breathed, he, he breathed life. <laughs> and now, now this, go this, ahead. This, this is something. God is life. Yes, sir. And he breathed himself into us. He breathed life into to man. Into man. Yes, sir. And, and 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 the one that came out of the one that made me think about that was the uh, uh